example today I'm going to show you how we can create this drop-down animation in Figma so first let's take a look what we are going to create today so when you mouse over you get this um, overlay and then when you mouse over in each item you get this nice smooth animation so this is what we are going to create today let's take a look so in this uh, case I have already created a UI just for this test case and you can see I also have uh, several components at the top here and I will explain you one by one um, how we create that but you don't need to worry about this UI complicated part here you can even do with your own so for that I just create a new um, screen here at the right side and I will show you how I created here so first let's take a look at so let's say this is our um, bar like this here so for that first let's change the background color to something similar so let's get this pick and then uh, sorry we just want to change the background color of the um, uh, yep that's good and then we change this to white so we just change the background of the frame to this um, light gray and then the menu item as white now we have it and if you notice here I have a slight shadow there that's why it just pops out so of course uh, you can click here and you can in the effects you can add a drop shadow and then you can play with it with the functions also there is a, a plugin that I will show you in the next video how you can uh, arrange that I mean you can play with them um, uh, the, the shadow effects and then how you can make it looks better so for this case let's add us maybe a small border here just one pixels and then just a radius to four pixels and then just give a maybe a label menu drop down drop down yep there we go so we just okay put it there in the center so this is our item next we need now we have this ready next we need um, like a three dots so for that we just uh, create a small circle here let's click the shift and then just drag and drop so uh, maybe let's make it a little more bigger just in case four okay I know it's a bit bigger but for this case it works and then we just duplicate that's three that's it so we can group them and then we just align to the middle maybe a little more to the left good next so we need the drop down so for the drop down items we select a rectangle and then we create a rectangle here maybe let's keep it same width as the menu item and then we give a radius of four and then change the color to the white good and then we also give a stroke of one pixels and then maybe here no. okay looks good next we need the items here right so for that let's type menu list items here cool now we have the item so we just duplicate maybe here and then you keep using command D you so that it just keeps duplicating so it's a very nice function in Figma um, so you just select all and then just align it a little bit in the center there cool now as you notice it's just a static item so how do we make it as an animation right so for that we just take this and then put it outside here there good and then uh, we click on this item uh, these three dots and then you right side you click the prototype and then right after you click on that you see there's a small circle pops up here so you click on that 
and then just drag to here so as you notice when you drag here nothing happens because this is now just an item it's not a component or a frame so when you want to move to that it has to be a frame or it has to be a component so let's change it as a component so for this case uh, let's have create a component and then now from here if you notice now you can um, link to it so we just click on that now it's linked to that so after you linking to that you get some interactive properties here at the moment it says as on click you can make it as on click or on over so for this case let's make it as on click and then what you want to do after you click on this it says navigate to component one which is this one uh, means it will go from here to there no we don't want this to be navigated to there instead we want it to open it as an overlay or a drop down right so let's change it to as an overlay i will show you how to navigating navigating is like from one screen to another screen it jumps to that screen here it's just an overlay so let's create it as an overlay so for overlay also there are other settings here that is centered top left top right blah 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 but we want it right below of it so for that what you have to do is there's no option for that just go manual so you select manual and what happens is that you can sort this um, um, a new item or something similar to that a duplicated item shows here actually this is just a preview that shows how it will be looking like when you, you select the manual so you can just click drag and drop it right below this so that um, when you click on this it shows or it drops down right below that okay good and next other properties we have here is that so whenever you click outside you notice that the properties goes off so you make sure you click on this arrow so that the properties comes back here so you also want to click or close this overlay when you click outside so basically when you click outside in the normal HTML what happens that it is closed off right so we want to so you just check on this one so that it goes off add background behind overlay you don't need that so what is that we basically we use it for pop-up like a normal pop-up so that it will have a bad I mean you don't need to make um, a transparent background by yourself so this program creates that for you so that is very good next so let's just go take a look so also I forgot to mention you can see a small playhead icon shows here that means now this is um, animate it is playable or an animator and this is the first frame that will be played let's say you have so so many other uh, animated frames there as well and this is a starting frame for your animation so make sure that if you want to change from this frame to some other frame so you need to go to the property settings and then change the starting frame to some other frame if you want to so in this case we already we only have one frame that is animated so we just keep it there and yeah so now let's go and take a look at this so let's click here and then at the top right you can see a percent icon which is like a play button so you click on that so it takes you to the play Page. so now when you when you click outside you can see a small blue highlight here that means that's the item that we can um, I will just zoom in here to show you that clearly here you can see this one so yeah so that's our item now it's linked to that pop-up so let's click and you see that it shows there and you click outside it goes off that's because you selected this option here to click outside let's say not it, if you uncheck here what happens is that it comes and then even if you click outside nothing happens so make sure you choose close when clicking outside so that it disappears when you click outside but still if you notice it's good uh, but the navigation is not that smooth so how can we make it a little more smoother so for that it comes uh, if you notice here the type of animation it's like an instant so instead of that you want to make it like a an in dissolve function you also have move in and out but that doesn't work for in this case so let's use it as dissolve so what happens is that you can see a preview here this is what happens so there's ease in and ease out which is like 
when it pops it disappears it just fades out and when it appears it fades in now let's go back and take a look at our animation now so click out and you see here it just fades in and fades out fades in and fades out nice so that's it it's very simple and we have two more things that we need to do is um, the linking to these or when you mouse over the other items how it looks like so for that uh, what you have to do is you just need to duplicate uh, so first before that you need to go to the design tab here and then you just click on the component and then they just duplicate it so it's just simple um, and you just duplicate these three items there good now you click here and if you come back here prototype you can notice that okay this is your first item sorry I just uh, need to drop it here so that it looks nice now okay let's put it somewhere there good now when you mouse over the first item I want this to be a different color so for that we come to the design and we just change to let's say pink or something like that yep good and then second item when I come here I want the second item to be pink as well. so for that I just do something like this I think you get the idea so what happens is that you double click on this and you go to the prototype and you get this circle click drag it to there and then change from on click to while overing that means when you mouse over over it it just go it supposed to go to this one so how do you do that it's a navigate no you shouldn't navigate to that instead you should swap so what happens it just replaces this with this one something like this that's called swapping right so it just swaps so you will see this one now let's go take a look at our animation come here click comes and when you mouse over you see that what happens is that the second item which was showing here is swapping with this current element and when you mouse out it goes back to the other item so let's do the same for the another one come here move here while overing instead of navigate swap and that's it and also you can do it is in and out there's a dissolve. There's also smart animate. You can do that here, which is also cool. You can play with it. Let's try here for smart animate if it works. Let's see how that goes. But basically, it's the same because it uh, it just checks the component and then gives you an animation that works best for it. So even if you use the smart animate or ease in and out, basically it works the same in this case. So yeah. So that's it. That's what we gonna. I wanted to show you today. So let's take a look at this in this example with a good um, a design one. So if you wanted to take a look at here, so it's simple. I will quickly show here because this is already a component. So I create here, I navigate to on click. I want it as an overlay, and you can see here it just shows right bottom there. So it's good, and then um, close when clicking outside and then instead of in, instant I change to dissolve is in and out and timing is good for me and then from open service when I click on this I want the, this to be as a mouse over so when you while overing I want to swap to that and then dissolve is in and out cool the same way I do the same for the other two everything while overing while overing yep and quickly change uh, all the other animations as well so that uh, we can see how that looks let's go back now if you notice the play it still shows here right how do i go back to that play icon there so for that we do our settings change here because I want this to be the first item to be played so for that I go here and I change the starting frame to dashboard my services so now you can see that play button came here so now it will be the first item to be played so when I go back here and click play icon or person icon now you can see this is my first thing to be played so when I click over 
you can see here that's the item so when I click here it shows there and when I mouse over it started animating so thanks for watching that's what I wanted to show you here today hope this helps you to create a better interactive animation in Figma so I will be keep posting more useful and real life examples of my projects that I used to do and keep um, watching and keep practicing and please subscribe to my channel I will be keep posting more videos similar to this thanks